Some say the chase is better than the catch. For middleweight Johnny Evelyn, after three long years working his way up the Bellator ranks, he finally achieved the ultimate goal. Overlooked and underappreciated, Evelyn proved the doubters wrong with one of the most definitive championship winning performances ever seen. I want everybody to know I'm the next, I'm the next thing, bro. It's a new era. It's a new era. But now he must face a man whose journey to the top was halted through circumstance. Out of the shadows emerges a new challenger in Anatoly Tokov, a fighter who many say would already be the champion had he not been forced onto the sidelines. Will Evelyn pass his first test as champion with flying colors, or will Tokov claim what he believes is rightfully his? This is Bellator 290 Crossroads, Evelyn versus Tokov. Johnny Evelyn first began his journey in competitive sports during high school, where the Iowa-born youngster worked diligently to become a state wrestling champion. This early success for Evelyn would encourage him to pursue opportunities in wrestling, eventually leading him to the University of Missouri, where he became an NC2A qualifier and a two-time academic All-Mac team member. Despite being one of the most promising athletes on his university's wrestling team, Evelyn's time at college was blighted by constant injuries, including a fractured fibula in his freshman year. Evelyn graduated from Missouri in 2015 and would subsequently decide to relocate to Florida. Here is where Evelyn's life changed forever after meeting former Olympic wrestler Steve Moko, who invited the young upstart to train at the renowned American Top Team. Learning alongside some of the most experienced names in MMA, Evelyn's early days at American Top Team revitalized his love for competitive sport. Evelyn would split his training between Florida and Missouri, where he also trained at the highly regarded Glory MMA. After picking up four awe-inspiring first-round finishes on the regional circuit, a fresh-faced Johnny Evelyn would earn his debut on the Bellator stage in early 2019. Evelyn's tutelage under the likes of Moko and Bellator veteran King Mo was clear from the get-go. With their guidance, the former NCAA Division I wrestler had transformed his remarkable wrestling base into a major asset inside the cage, using his wrestle-heavy style to completely dominate Chauncey Foxworth in his inaugural performance. After such a skillful debut, it became immediately clear that Evelyn had all the makings of a future world champion. Still undefeated Johnny Evelyn. On that very same night, 29 fight veteran Anatoly Tokov would compete inside the Bellator cage for the fourth time, submitting the ultra tough Gerald Harris with a second round guillotine choke. Tokov was a major prospect in the middleweight division with his rise up the ranks bolstered by coach and mentor Fedor Emelianenko. Under the guidance of one of the greatest names in MMA history, Tokov would instantly flourish, picking up seven stoppages in his first two years of competition. The Fedor team fighter amassed a 24-2 record during this time competing in Russia, and with such a formidable record, it came as no surprise when Scott Coker and Bellator MMA came calling in early 2017. After two outstanding stoppage wins against Francisco France and Vladimir Filopovic, Tokov would come up against former world champion Alexander Slomenko. In what was expected to be the Russian fighter's toughest challenge yet, Tokov established exactly why he was regarded as one of the biggest prospects in MMA, dominating Slomenko to win by unanimous decision. Anatoly Tokov! Sidelines, the accelerated ascent of Evelyn proceeded with near unstoppable velocity. 
Eblen would win his next four fights with almost definitive ease, which included spectacular stoppages over Daniel Madrid and Colin Huckbottom. Thanks to his now newly established fistic ferocity, Eblen would earn the moniker of the human cheat code, further exemplifying his unwavering status as a top title contender. It was confirmed that with one more victory, the ATT fighter would earn a shot at middleweight world champion Gegard Mousasi, but standing in his way was one of the grittiest fighters in the 185-pound division, John Salter. Salter may have been the more experienced fighter against Evelyn, but that certainly didn't dampen the spirits of the human cheat code. If anything, it spurred him on for one of the greatest performances of his career. Eblin's approach to the fight could be described as near perfect as he fought his way to a unanimous decision victory and with it, a chance at world title glory. People look good knocking out unknown names and then uh, you have to knock out big names. Leading into his middleweight championship opportunity, many of the critics had written off Evelyn's chances against the highly regarded Musasi. Musasi, a Grand Slam champion in his own right, had just beaten four of the top middleweight fighters in the world, and more often than not, made it look easy. It's because of this that he entered the fight with overwhelming confidence, which perhaps would hasten his downfall. I know Gigar was asked who I was, and he had no idea. Trust me, he knows who I am now. Eblin, on the other hand, motivated by Musasi's disregard, was totally focused on proving the naysayers wrong and claiming his rightful place at the top of the middleweight division. Lighting a fire under Eblin, many anticipated he would give the fight his all, but the way it played out, no one could have expected. In what can only be described as a true coming of age moment, Eblin disrupted Musasi from the first bell. Using his far superior wrestling and massively improved striking, for one of the most dominant championship performances in Bellator history. After five rounds of total and utter domination, the judges awarded a sweeping victory for Evelyn with three 50 to 45 shutout scores, ushering in a brand new era for the middleweight division. For a man who has constantly been overlooked throughout his career, Eblin now enters unfamiliar territory as expectations of his success grow rapidly. It is a golden night for Johnny Eblin, now 12 and 0, and the new Bellator middleweight champion. After spending two years on the sidelines, watching others prosper in his absence, Tokov finally receives his rightful opportunity. And in case of any doubt, the Russian fighter has already proven that he has yet to lose a step. Since his return in October of 2021, Tokov has secured back-to-back -back victories over highly regarded opponents, beating Sharaf Davlamuradov in his return bout and then quickly finishing Muhammad Abdullah in the very first round. On Saturday, February 4th in Inglewood, California, two of the 185-pound division's top grapplers will collide. Under the bright lights of the Kia Forum, we will find out whether Johnny Evelyn is truly one of the best middleweights of his era. But to do so, he must defeat a resolute Anatoly Tokov, a man who has never tasted defeat in the Bellator cage, a hungry fighter who many consider the champion in waiting before his lengthy absence. Only one can leave Bellator 290 as world champion.